Welcome back to my channel. Today I have this beautiful orangey makeup tutorial for you guys. I uh, still don't know what I'm gonna call it, but I really like how it turned out. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please, if you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Lily. And I think that will be all. Please follow me on my social media. I have uh, Facebook, Snapchat, um, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them makeup looks by Lily J. And let's begin this tutorial. Hope you guys like it. Thanks. Hey guys, so the first thing we're going to do is prime our lids, and I am using the NYX eyeshadow base to do this. Since I'm using a little bright colors, I wanted to start with my eyes first. Next, using any translucent powder or any um, shot, any eyeshadow that it's the same color as your skin, um, using this translucent powder just to set the eyeshadow base, and that's gonna help blend all the other shadows more easily. Now, using this brown shade from my peach palette. Um, from Too Faced, I'm going to focus this color as a transition uh, shade and I'm just gonna uh, focus this color on my crease. Using the peach color on the same palette, I'm gonna focus that color just all over my lid. And I really like this color. Now, um, it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be. So, um, as you're gonna see here in a little bit, I do go over with different shadows just to get the uh, color that I wanted because. This palette was just not, um, or at least this color was just not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be or as I wanted it to be. Now using, and I forgot to show you the guys, but I was using the orange shade on the Murphy 350 palette, and that's the it's the um, orange shade on the palette. And since it doesn't really have a name, um, 
I'm sorry I wasn't able to give you a name but I used the orange shade so any shadow that you have that it has like the same that it's the same color it's like an orangey or like a burn orange would definitely work and I go over um, mostly on the outer corner I focus this col this color mostly on the outer corner using my modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills I use the shade Reg regular um, it's the burn orangey color that is on the bottom um, line of the, the the shades and I focus this color mostly on the outer corner and kind of like blend it um, upwards towards the uh, crease line so as you can see it's a really simple look and adding different colors just kind of gives an illusion of having many many shadows um, but technically all of the colors were pretty similar to each other I just really like this how I, I really like how it turned out I think that those colors are perfect especially for um, fall right now and all the leaves and you know you could walk outside and you see the orangey leaves just perfect now for foundation I am using my cup and D locket foundation I love this foundation if you've been following me for a while you know that this is one of my go-to foundations um, it's under it's, it has a orange, orangey um, undertones or yellow undertones but uh, it definitely matches my um, neck and it has it's it really has a, a full coverage so that's one of the reasons why I really love this foundation. It's so creamy, it's easy to blend. I love it. Now for concealer, I am using my Kat Von D Locket Concealer and oh my god, I love, love, love this concealer. I've been using different ones and I always go back to this one, just my favorite. It's really easy to blend, it's full coverage, it does not crease throughout the day, so I absolutely love it. And with the same concealer, what I'm going to do is clean the edges of my shadow just to make it a little more, um, or clean it up a little bit. It's just going to be more sharp on the outer corners of the um, eye. using my blunt my oh sorry <laughs> using my damp beauty blender <laughs> from real techniques I'm gonna blend all this um, concealer and going just back and forth uh, just gonna help me it just helps if you to go back and forth with the product just so that because whenever you use a, a damp beauty blender your t uh, it picks up um, extra product so if you go back and forth it's just gonna be able you're gonna be able to uh, maintain the product and have a better coverage instead of taking picking up too much product does that make sense <laughs> And 
Now I've been using um, baby powder to bake and I wanted to try it and see how it works. I absolutely love it so far. It does not crease throughout the day. It doesn't feel dry. Um, and it definitely, uh, it definitely locks the concealer in place. So I really like it so far. Now using the same um, orangey color from uh, the palette, the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm gonna focus that color. Mostly, um, the, the most of the product is gonna be on the outer corner of the eye, and then whatever is left, I'm gonna bring it towards the inner corner. Once I have that done, then I'll clean all the extra powder on my face and leaving the powder on, the, on your under eye while you do your lower lash. Any fallouts is gonna fall directly into the powder and it's just gonna be much easier to clean up and you won't, it won't mess up your, your concealer or your foundation. It's just a little trick that I learned and I really like it. Now, using my Too Faced palette, Coco Contour, um, I'm using Media Mocha to you to do uh, my contour. I really like this. It's more like a blush for my skin tone, but I definitely love it, and it smells delicious. For blush, I am using a Tarte blush. Um, it doesn't really have a name. I think it doesn't have a name, but um, it's a Tarte uh, blush. Actually, it's a Maze, the name of the blush. And it came on a holiday collection. And that's what I'm gonna be using to uh, as a blush. It's so pretty. I really, really like this. Basically, any products from Tarte, I absolutely love, but her, their blushes are amazing. Using Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette Glow Kit, I am going to use the two bottom shades. And look at this highlight. Oh my God, can we take a minute? Let's just take a moment of silence and appreciate the beauty of this highlight. Ready? Go. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. Now for my brows, I don't do too much to my brows. I pretty much just fill them out just so they do they look a little darker and fill out any of the uh, open spaces that I do have because I do have some little gaps in between them. So I just fill them out and pretty much follow my shape that I already have and just like I said, just fill them out. And to do that, I am using a drugstore powder, and it's from our um, Ardell's. And it's a brow defining powder, and the color is mink brown. Now for my lips, I am using this color from uh, ColourPop and it's a really beautiful color. The name is Pacific and absolutely love the color. Now I did notice they were a little dry from what I like, but just keep in mind if you use, uh, which I should have probably done that, but I didn't have any at the, uh, or handy with me, but if you use a lip pencil, just put your your lip pencil first and then the liquid lipstick and it's just gonna help um it, it will help you to not have the problem of having like a little crack lips but i did moisturize my lips using um a sugar scrub and it did definitely work so you can just moisturize your lips and it will help a lot now you can definitely use a dark brown or even a red um, burgundy. I think that this um, 
look can definitely change you can change it up however you want you can add um, a wing liner a, either a black liner or a brown liner it will look absolutely beautiful and for your lips you can definitely change it up you can do a glossy lip a nude or you can do a red you can do burgundy you can definitely play with makeup with this look you can change it up and do whatever makes you happy and makes you feel beautiful so this is the final look I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial it is really simple but it, it's beautiful it's so appropriate for a, a date night or even if you have a um, you know have to run errands or whatever you can you want to wear this to it's definitely a beautiful look I hope that you guys enjoy if you did please please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already other than that I will see you guys on my next video bye